The placings are complete in our Milking Shorthorn Yearling and Milk class. If we could have our first and second place juniors please step forward. Our second place junior is entry number 1307, Pine Valley Lothario Latte, exhibited by Jessica James of Mineral Point, Wisconsin. In our open show, third place is entry number 1304, Core Star Lothario Sharkey, exhibited by Wyatt Navis of Waupon, Wisconsin. In second in our open show, as well as our first place junior is entry number 1309, North Star Get Mega Jiggy, exhibited by Tucker Peterson of Mountain Grove, Missouri. Our winning entry, Best Bread and Owned and Best Utter, is entry number 1303, Hardcore Othello Margarita, exhibited by Hardcore Farm from New Enterprise, Pennsylvania. Judge Harbaugh for your reasons. Thank you, Laura. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's certainly great for Katie and I to be back this afternoon to uh, finish up your milking shorthorn show. And if this uh, first pair of cows is any indication of what's to come, it's going to be a great show. This first heifer just exudes style, balance, quality from end to end. A heifer that's the best uttered heifer in the class. She has that advantage of having more height, width, and bloom of udder today than our recently fresh heifer coming along here in second. Second heifer, you really admire her length of frame. She's got that beautiful feminine long head and neck. Just like to tuck her down in her tail setting a little bit. And for being two weeks fresh, just a beautiful uttered heifer. Needs a little time to get her rear rib and flank back, but she uses that advantage. She has today in length of head and neck, angularity and clean cutness throughout. A heifer that just carries her udder a little higher above the hock today and is more correct in her teat size, shape, and placement than the big frame cow coming along in third. This third cow uses her length of barrel, her width through the floor of her chest, her openness throughout to place over the cow coming along here in fourth. Another cow in fourth, more recently fresh, a cow that has the advantage in overall width and height of rear udder today to place over the cow coming along in fifth. And then fifth over sixth, the advantage she has today in teat placement and length of frame and a cow that has just a little more style and hardness about her top today than the long dairy cow coming along in sixth. And as we move down through the class here to our sixth and seventh cows, cows that are short, fresh, just need some time to get some rib back and open up and dairy up a little bit, but a very nice class to start the show. Congratulations.